Okay guys, so if you want to buy your books, you can. And they're about $2 for eight of them or four of them, depending on which size you get. Now you can make some really easy out of cardstock, poster board, and you can bend it and make your book that way. Just crease it along the edge there and then just fill it with regular paper once you've done that. Okay. Now, if you don't care that your books open and close, then you don't even need to do that. All that you have to do is cut yourself some wood, the same size of the book that you want, and then paint it to look like a book. This is 1 8 inch. As you can see, the book that I bought is 1 8 inch thick. And so I just cut it the same size, paint it, and then there you'll have it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get one of your pre-sanded pieces of wood and you want to paint the ends white. The top, bottom, and one side. Now for the ends, because it's a raw edge, I'm using latex paint, but for the actual book itself, I'm going to be using acrylic. Latex has a thicker base to it, so that's why I'm using that. That way it kind of fills in some of those crevices from the end. It won't fill it in entirely, but it will make it a little bit thicker so it's easier to um, fill in. So you want to do that to all the books that you're going to make. Okay, so now that you have your book, you're going to want to paint it. And I will tell you this, red takes several coats. Red is a very hard color to color with. Um, in some cases, you can paint the book like a base color of gray or black first before you paint the red, and then it'll cover a lot easier. But you want to go ahead and paint your book shelf or book itself with all of them okay so when you're painting make sure you're painting away from the middle of the book toward the end that way you don't have it bleed on you and make sure you don't have paint on your fingers either when you're doing it because when you do that then you'll end up getting it on the white part okay so make sure you're painting away from the middle toward the end. And this will help prevent um, the bleedage into the white area a little bit. You notice I'm pulling it toward the edge on all sides. Okay, so if you bled over with the white a little bit, you can always just sand it off if you want, or you can just paint over it either way. It doesn't really matter. but acrylic is going to need multiple coats of paint over latex.
Okay, so when you're painting the book itself, you want to go from the middle out. So go from the middle to the edge, and then from the middle to the top, and the middle to the bottom. The purpose of this is so you don't get it to bleed on the white. Also make sure you don't have any paint on your hand when you're flipping the book to the other direction, otherwise it will get on the white. All right, so go to the edge again, and to the edge from the middle. If you go this way, you're gonna end up running it on the white, so you don't wanna do that. And if you don't have access to making this with wood, you can always use um, paperboard, which comes on wrapping of like maybe a cheese noodle box or something like that, and then glue them together to make a book. But basically, oh, look, my finger had some on it and it got on the edge. Okay, so you want to watch out for that. Um, so I'll have to retouch that up, but basically that's what you want to do when you paint the book. It should look like this one. Let it dry, and then I'll show you how to do the gold edge. Okay, so what I've done is I've bent a piece of wire around this book so that I have a template of where I want mine to be. All right, now you can twist it together, and if you don't have wire, you can just paint the lines on there, or you can use a paint pen, or you can use string. Either way, I mean, it's not anything that's going to be something that needs to be done exact. Okay, now I'm dipping it in a little bit of paint. And then I'm going to just kind of lightly press that on there. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but... It did give me the gold lines. So to compare the two, Theirs is a little bit more dominant, so I may want to go over that gold again a little bit more. But they're the same in size. And then when they're like that, I mean, I don't think you're really going to tell that it's a different kind of book on the bookshelf unless you plan on opening it. And then you can write whatever you want on the front cover or you can leave it blank if you like. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, the red one I have to still give a second coat to, but basically you can see and compare with the green. I did thicken up that line a little bit, and when you do it with rope, or not rope, but with string, it'll actually be thicker when you put it on there, but the wire is thinner, or if you do it with a thicker piece of wire. And you can also paint them darker if you like. But that's books for a bookshelf. Okay, so one more thing you can do is you could actually print some images of books off of the internet and then glue them with some Mod Podge on top of the books as well to give different story titles rather than painting them. If you're going to choose images from the internet, just make sure they're not copyrighted images before you use them so you don't get in trouble. Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. 
and leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day.